Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi there, this is Miss Yusinta Welcome back to my class today The previous meeting is all about expressing of congratulations, hope and wishes Well, how about today? What will we learn? Yes, that's correct In this special day, we're going to learn about Let's live a healthy life Hey, what's on this chapter? Of course, we will talk about how to Show a purpose and intention Express agreement or disagreement In terms of healthy life Alright everybody Before we are going to further explanations Let's we move to activity 1 Watch the video carefully and answer the questions And then write down your answers on your English notebook But before that, I'll give you the questions first based on the video Are you ready? Come on! 1. Who is absent? 2. What happens with the girl? 3. What is the today's lesson about? 4. Why do we should eat nutritious food? 5. Why do we should sleep 8 hours a day? Can you tell me about the lesson today? Because I was absent. Yes, it is about how to stay healthy. Yes, you should also eat nutritious food in order to be strong. We also should sleep 8 hours a day in order to get enough rest. I agree with that. Okay, thank you. Nice answers everybody! Catch my point so far? Okay, let's we move to activity 2. Write down the questions and then watch my explanations. And the last is answer the questions based on the explanations. Have you prepared everything? Okay, good job. First of all, please observe these statements. You should also eat nutritious food in order to be strong. We also should sleep 8 hours in a day in order to get enough rest. What do you think about the statements? Yes, correct! I know you can guess it. It's the expression of showing intention or purpose. The expression is used to tell you the purpose of a certain activity. So, what is the formula? Here they are. Okay, yang pertama, kamu lihat di situ ada clause atau klausanya, yaitu kalimat yang terdiri dari subjek and then should or must verb satu. Kemudian dilanjutkan ada conjunction-nya atau kata sambung. Kemudian kamu tambahkan frase atau klausanya. Nah, gunakan to atau in order to jika kata sesudahnya adalah frase. Kamu bisa gunakan so dan so that jika kata sesudahnya adalah kalimat. Well, do you still confused? Okay, let's check this further information. Oh no! Oke, okay, kali ini kita akan mempelajari showing intention atau purpose ya, menunjukkan suatu niat 
atau tujuan ya yang pertama kita menggunakan kata untuk menunjukkan intention dan purpose menggunakan kata so that atau so saja yang kedua in order to atau to saja ya sekarang kita lihat penulisannya so that atau so diikuti oleh subject model scan will dan verb ya jadi sebenarnya seperti ini model scan dan will di sini dalam kurung berarti dia bisa dipakai bisa tidak ya ada kalimat yang dipakai ada yang tidak ya sekarang kita lihat contohnya he studies hard so that he can pass the test he can pass the test jadi setelah so that kalimatnya lengkap subjek ada verb ya he can pass the test ada subjek ada verb ya tidak ditulis verb saja tapi menggunakan subjek dan verb oke okay, sekarang kita akan lihat penulisan in order to atau to ya dia menggunakan verb one contohnya he studies hard in order to pass the test he studies hard in order to pass the test jadi langsung dituliskan verb one ya pass the test tidak memakai subjek Nah sekarang kita akan melihat beda antara sodet dan so ya supaya tidak bingung. Sodet artinya purpose atau tujuan ya. So purpose atau tujuan tapi juga bisa result atau hasil ya. Jadi sodet purpose, so purpose atau result ya punya dua arti so ini. Oke supaya lebih paham ya kita lihat contohnya ya. Sodet yang berarti purpose bagaimana contoh kalimatnya? I practice football every day so that I can win the competition. Saya berlatih sepak bola sehingga saya supaya saya menang, ya. Jadi dia belum menang, tapi tujuannya supaya dia menang. Nah itulah arti purpose dari so that, ya. Arti tujuan dari so that. Oke okay, sekarang kita lihat so sebagai yang berarti result ya atau hasil. Contohnya the watch is cheap, the watch is cheap, so I buy it. Jam itu murah jadi saya membelinya. Jam itu murah, so I buy it. Jam itu murah, hasilnya saya membelinya seperti itu ya. Jadi so di sini lebih berarti sehingga atau jadi ya yang pasti dia sudah membeli jamnya berarti ya tidak seperti tadi kalau tadi dia belum menang ya kalau sekarang kejadiannya dia sudah membeli jamnya ya itulah so yang berarti result atau hasil dari kalimat sebelumnya oke kita akan membahas kedua kalimat tersebut ya bagaimana membedakannya ya I practice football every day so that I can win the competition jadi artinya dia belum memenangkan kompetisinya masih berupa tujuan ya sedangkan yang kedua the watch is cheap so I buy it ini berarti jam itu telah dibeli dia jadi kejadiannya sudah terjadi ya dia sudah membeli jamnya by the way have you heard about this statement in this video ah I agree with that What is the expression for? Yes, that's correct. It is to express an agreement. We use the expression of agreement to state our agreement to others' opinions or suggestions. Here are some examples of expressing agreement. You can say, I agree with you. That's for sure. I couldn't agree with you more. Absolutely. That's exactly how I feel. So, how if we don't agree about something? Here are some examples of expressing disagreement. You can say, I don't think so. I'm afraid I disagree. I totally disagree. I beg to differ. That's not always the case. 
So that's all for today, my students. You've learned about the expression of showing attention or purpose, and also agreement and disagreement. So hopefully you get fruitful knowledge from my presentation. See you soon in the next lesson. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and tomorrow never dies to learn English. Goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.